And here we are, the Sofa Brand MX hole shot. Who's got it? It looks like Lane Allison and Semino. Oh. Semino out front. Look at Bitterman squeezing up there. Yeah, real quick. This is what he's needing to do. Ooh, put a nice, uh, shove that front wheel in there. He's up to second. He is. Look at right him go. Right Semino. Kyle's buried oh, a little bit. He's going to the lead. There it is. He just pulled a move out of Kyle Peters' book right there. This is it. That early intensity. Get to the front. Get yourself a little gap. Make Kyle work to get him. Mm -hmm. And then that puts Semino in second. And Lesher's in third, I believe. What a great shot. Uh, down this rhythm lane. What a great jump sequence. That, that's got to be a lot of fun to ride. He's got the yellow podium boots. I don't know. Maybe he can hang on to it. He can. I think he can. It's all in the boots. Boots, the boots night. tell the story. They do. They really do. And that looks like Lane Allison after a pretty good jump around the first turn. He's back in fourth now. And Kyle's right behind him in fifth. So Kyle's still got a little bit of passing to do. And these guys are going fast enough. Hopefully they're going to hold him up a little bit for Bitterman's sake. And he can get a little bit of a gap. Looks like Kyle's going to make the move right now on Allison. Yeah, this isn't going to take long. He's going inside here. He'll push him out. Ooh, that was a that was a nice. Let's see. I got the front end in there and almost made him made him flinch and move a little bit. Not really a block pass, but almost just aggressive enough that yeah. hey, if you don't if you don't lift a little bit, I'm going to hit you. That's experience, mm -hmm. right? I mean, he just basically scared him. Pretty much, and, yeah. And and it's we've all had it happen. You hear a guy come in or you see a wheel come out of nowhere and you go, oh. Uh, but he w he could have just railed around that turn and went right back around Kyle Peters. He, he could have put that little bit of lift, that little bit like, whoa, Kyle's inside. Uh, then took his momentum around the turn away, and Kyle just then really pivoted the first the front end and then cut and grabbed a handful and see you later on to Semino. Yeah, and some of these guys, like, like a Semino, uh, they just, you know, they don't want to hold up the champion either, right? I mean, there's at some point you go, all right, he's going to pass me. Why, why am I going to? Wow, now Kyle's just going outside to in, and then he's got the drive in. Now, Semino's seen that, and he tried to pinch off the inside so Kyle couldn't make that same move he made on Allison, but then Kyle just pivoted back to the inside and then got the run on in the whoops. But that's what it takes, you know, and I'm sure, like, I get what you're saying. The number one guy's coming. Like, how much do I want to fight him? But, you know, if you want to get speed, you want to get faster, you want to try to keep him behind you as long as possible. So he pushes you up yeah. in speed, too. Yeah, absolutely. I'm not saying that's the right thing to do. I'm saying we see it happen a lot. It does. Yeah, unfortunately it does. So um, I think these guys just got to get to the space, uh, no matter name, number, size, bike, anything. Just going to race them as hard as we can. I think you'll have a little more trouble as he gets up here behind Leshler and then uh, trying to bridge, bridge the gap to Bitterman. Uh, Bitterman was running him down a little bit at the end of that last main, but I'm not sure if Kyle was just kind of taking the easy towards the end also. We'll have to watch the interval here. It's 1.6 right now between Bitterman and Peters. Let's see if he can, if Peters can close that gap and how hard he'll push. you got to think he definitely is going to want to get past the guy who's second in points. Any Anytime you can add that add to that cushion you want to. Yeah, and then it's also a little state of dominance, right? It's like he's stamping his mark, and I'm winning this championship, and no matter where I'm at, I'm going to get by you and get max points on you for the night. Well, I think as a guy who's leading points, you really have to be careful about letting anybody build momentum. Yes. And you let Kyle win this one. You say, oh, I'll let him have it. Uh, then, you know, I'll see interval now went to 1.3. So he's he's clicking down a few tenths every single lap. And it looks like me, uh, Leshler's, uh, Leshler's catching Bitterman. So this could be a three-way battle. But Bitterman's getting a bit of a better drive through the whoops, too. Uh, Lesher just got a little sideways towards the end, and then Kyle's coming. So hopefully this is shaping up to a, a top three battle here. And we haven't seen that too much in these main events. Like Kyle's got up front, or, or last week Hicks got out front. And, oh, uh, we've seen a little Lesher bit of battle. Lesher made a Albany. mistake there. A little mistake, so that allowed Kyle to get closer. He's right on him. And this will be interesting to watch the differences between the 250 two-stroke and four-stroke. Like I said, that two-stroke is making more power, but... It definitely puts it down in a more abrupt way, harder to control, where these guys are able to roll that on a little bit better with the four-stroke. And uh, when it starts, those spots where it's shiny and slick, they're going to have an easier time controlling. You might see Lesher start to, the back end start to dance around a little more. Yeah, because he's got to keep it in the RPM so much, and it doesn't have that torque power as, as the four-stroke does. But he's making it work. And, he is. And if there's any track, it's this one where the grip is ultimately pretty good. The shiny stuff does get a little slick, but there's... Like I was saying earlier in the opening, there's that little bit of cush that you can use as well, which will help that two-stroke stay wound up. Kyle's not catching him at that greater rate of speed, and Lesher's been just inching up on Bitterman. Then you just see a little mistake like you seen last time. Yeah, it's all tightening up. 
Now Kyle got really close. See, Lesher went a little bit right off the take off of the first. See that he's little slide right that. there. He's doing exactly what you're saying. Yeah. So he's just he's just honestly. He's riding so hard and pushing. He's got to kind of let that bike come up a little bit. He's keeping it leaned over a little too long, and then he's losing the rear. If he just lifts it up a little bit, kind of like the road race guys coming get, out of the Get it on the top of the yeah, tire. Get on top of the tire, let her dig. He got that pivot was really nice. Yeah, it was. See, the whoops are another spot. You see that bike dancing a little left to right. He just can't. It just doesn't get the grip. With I four strokes you know, the four strokes, they can run fourth in the whoops where Lesher's probably got to run third. Yeah. That's been the Ultima gear in the 252 stroke in the whoops is third. So that's going to make a little bit more top end speed towards the oh, end of the whoops. Here we go to the inside. Oh, see what I mean? Yeah, he's same he thing. He could have railed around the outside and stayed in the position. No problem. He gave that up. That was. Well, you can't say uncle too early. No. you got to stay in it. Drop that shoulder and let him hit you. No, and he just spun out again in yeah. that turn. He's. he's He's off the back, but he has a nice little cushion now to fourth. He's looking at a nice uh, podium podium. podium. Yeah. So what is going to happen with the leaders here? If, if it's me, I think Bitterman's got to really take it to Peters here. Don't let him have it. Don't let him have it. And if what happens is if Kyle, he's got, swerving down to the right of those whoops. That's a pretty good line. He got a few bike lanes. Yeah, he did. Uh, that was a good line. I thought he was going to be a little slower because he's got to get back over there to the right. But what's got to happen is if Kyle does get to him, he's got to hold the pressure. If Kyle does get by, because Kyle's been pretty aggressive on his passes, he's going to have to clamp on and try to figure out another way about, back by him. Don't get defeated. No, and, and, you know, this is kind of a standard strategy in racing. If somebody passes you, you've got to get them right back, like immediately. Next turn, Absolutely. you've got to come in and, and hit them if you have to. Uh, but if you let a guy get, you know, especially like Kyle, he goes by you, he's going to gap you. He's going to sprint and try to get a few bike lengths on you to where you can't do it. Ooh, he's already thinking Kyle's closer than he is and pinching off a turn. He's got to just run his lines. And he's, he's good enough that he'll be able to see if Kyle's going for it right no, now. Nope. Will he be able to get back to the right? Ooh, across the front wheel of Kyle. He's going to get his bike links back. Here comes Lesher, though. This is shaping up for that three-way battle. If these guys get battled too much, who's that give the upper hand to, Pink? Yeah, Lesher will be able to sneak back up on him. Maybe he can uh, get in there and take advantage if they bump each other or slow each other down. I, don't, I see Kyle going to try to make that move right here. here. comes, yeah. Bitterman knows it. Yeah, now let's see if he can hold on. Nah, he, he closed in on him too quickly. He's going to pull away. It almost looks like Bitterman's kind of tired or arm pump or something. He's not really, there's no intensity, no uh, sort of rush. Not compared to, to those back. first two laps. He no. did what, I, what we were talking about. He, yeah. he got out front quick and got away, but maybe that pumped him up a little too much. Um, now he's got some heat from Lesher from behind, so he might have some arm pumps. It's kind of what it looks like, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Maybe Kyle got to him and he had that lead. He lost it and just tightened up a little bit on the bike. Yeah, an arm pump for those who who don't know. <laughs> really, it just hamstrings you. You can't even ride once you can't arms do anything. You got so much blood built up in your forearms, uh, you couldn't hold a pencil, let alone try to control a throttle. Oh, exactly. The pencil would fall right out of your hand. Um, sometimes you can clear it and get a second win, but I don't think that uh, this race in Arena Cross is going to be quite long enough for that. More in an outdoor situation. Uh, Supercross and Arena Cross, you got to be ready to go from gate drop. I agree with you. This is uh, shaping up to be the Kyle Peters show. One lap right, to right, go here. here. Look at this. Lesher. Yellow boots him. coming in hot. Ooh, he went all the way across. Oh. He didn't take the line away. Bitterman, oh, he's going to oh, come back inside. Shake and bake. No. Oh, maybe right here. Jump he's inside. Go again. Bitterman, it's not done yet. Ooh, Ooh. that's a great pivot from both of it, it really was, yeah. That was a great, great score off the turn. He might still be able to get in here. Yep, he Bitterman's might. definitely on the ropes. Kyle's happy he got by Bitterman quick and got away because Lesher was still there. Lesher was still there. Let's see, this is going to be it, really. It's this last 180. He's nothing. got the inside. That arm pump is not allowing him to scrub the jumps the way he wants to. Oh, bitter Go for it. Go for it. Oh, Ooh. he half-assed it. Still, oh. not, still not done. Hold on. He tripled out of turn. He's got to cut over. Uh -oh. He's got to cut over. He did it. He did it. He's got it. Nice move. Great move. Great, great tried push. to slingshot the outside. He wasn't done yet, but looks like great job. Oh, turn down for what? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I love it. Uh, that was as good as one hand of that turn down. That's a little in your face, though, to Bitterman, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit. A little <laughs> bit. But, hey. You know, he made a last lap pass to get second. Good for him. Yeah, Bitterman led some laps. You know, like you said in his interview, he's, he's trying to build his way back up there to that, that front pack, and he he uh, led some laps, which is good. Well, and, and you know, the, the upside here for Bitterman, he did exactly what we said he needed to do. Get out early. Get to the front quickly.